going to explain how the lead form works on the website and what happens whenever a website lead enters their information into that form. So if I open up our lead funnel here, you can see that I have a form here on the right side and I have a form here at the bottom. Additionally, whenever I click on this pop-up, there's another form. So we've got lead forms in three different locations on the website and they are all linked to the same exact form, um, which I'll explain that in a moment. But if I click on one of these forms um, and I look at the form settings, I can see that after they enter the form, um, the instruction, the action for the, for the continue button is to go to the next step in the funnel which is our thank you page. And that's how it's set up for all of these forms, is to go to the thank you page. So by default, um, whenever one of these forms is filled out, so I'll fill this out real quick. And there we go. It takes you to the thank you and uh, book a meeting page. <clears throat> so let's find out what happened when that form was submitted. So back on the dashboard here, if we go to opportunities, and select the drop down and go to website slash funnel leads. You'll see that whenever we filled out the form on that website, it came over here to opportunities. So now I can click in on this contact and I can message them via SMS. I can send them an email from here. Um, I can set tasks, record notes, and uh, I can draw down an appointment. Uh, additionally, I can assign this to any employees that I may have to nurture this lead. Um, so there's a couple of different options here. They Now that lead also dropped into contacts right here. So now I'm going to kind of walk you through, um, if you ever want to edit that form, how to do so. So if I go to sites, uh, hover over forms and then go to builder this is the funnel contact form so I can click into that and then I'm able to change around any wording change colors um, add and remove different fields see I can add a form element here and change around the fields and of course save that and anytime you make changes to this form and save it those changes are going to automatically populate on the website on those three forms that I pointed out on the on the funnel I mean now we've built something called a workflow uh, to make it so that whenever a user enters their information in the form it gets sent into the opportunities pipeline on Leadstack. Um, so to look at that workflow and make any changes to it, you come over here to automation. And then this is going to be the funnel slash website form submission workflow right here. So the way this workflow works is if I click in here, whenever a form is submitted, and the form is the funnel contact form, then there is a created opportunity in your pipeline. And it's in the pipeline of website and funnel leads. It gets entered into the form received stage of the pipeline and the name and the source of that um, 
that lead get entered into there. So really very simple. Um, the form, uh, whenever it's filled out, it goes through this little workflow. And then whenever that workflow is completed, that lead ends up in your pipeline. Now, if you want to make sure to get notifications for those, go to um, go to your settings on your dashboard, scroll down to email services, reply and forward settings, and just make sure that um, you've got the email you want notifications going to in, in there as well. That is how the form on your lead stack funnel operates.